morning everyone i'm headed to the gym in a couple of minutes but i want to give you a plant update so let's go outside to the balcony okay so let's see how these are looking so it did rain last night so the plants are kind of shriveled up um but yeah it was pouring last night so that's why they don't look good right now so these two are the morning glory flowers they're growing taking a while but you know there's good progress there when I first saw this, like, yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, no, like, maybe the heat is too much, because, you know, I live in Texas, but then when I came back from work, I saw that they weren't drooping. I don't even know how to describe it, but it looked healthy. They just need, I think I just need to give it some time because it was pouring. So these are the tomatoes. I don't know. They look like this for the past two weeks. I don't know if it's time to like transfer them into like the bigger pots. I need to get some more pots. But this is how the tomatoes are looking. And then over here, let's get them out in the sun so you can see it. So these are the lettuces. They look like really country. I know they look crunchy and dry right now and it's because it's hot outside and it rained I think I do need to water them um, these are the broccoli and then these are the carrots so they're looking a little uh, dry right now and this because it's so hot outside but that's my plant update I'm gonna water them before I leave and then I'm headed to the gym First step was cleansing, second step toner, which I need to get more of. I need a portable fan. Third step, azelaic acid. Fourth step, moisturizer. Sunscreen. Guys, I am all dressed. I'm going to make some breakfast. I haven't made a smoothie in such a long time, so I have bananas, blueberries, raspberries, and I have apples, so it's gonna be like a tropical smoothie I'll make. I'm just gonna grab whatever fruits I have in the fridge. And then I'm going to make some eggs, spinach, and turkey bacon. And probably have it in a wrap or with toast. Um, but I'm wearing this shirt right now. And that's because the blouse that I'm planning to wear to go out and run errands is white. And I don't want that to get dirty while I'm cooking. So I'm just going to wear this t-shirt. Afterwards, I'll do my makeup, plan out my day. And yeah, that's the plan.
Anyways, I just got up and went to the bathroom to fix my hair because the front looked good, but at the back, oof, it didn't look right. But it's all tight and it's good. Well, not too tight, but a lot of the braids were like not inside of the scrunchie, so it just didn't look right at the back. But I wrote a list of things that I do want to get at Target. One is toner. I'm using my Thayer's toner. It's like my backup toner. But I started using the Good Molecules toner and I really like it and it ran out. So I need to get that. I need to get sunscreen. I used the Black Girl sunscreen that I showed you earlier. But it's SPF 30 and it's running out. So I want to get a new one. But I want to have like the 50 or 70 one as high as possible. I need to get my toothbrush head. Um, I have an electric toothbrush, but the head is old, so I, I threw it out. I need to get a new one to replace it. And then body lotion, the one that I got from Trey Joe's finished. Um, and then I'm using coconut oil now, but it's so hard. It's hard. Um, I think I might need to put it like in a cabinet or warm it up because it's really hard to use, but that one is almost finished, so I need to get body lotion. And then later on, I will go to Crate and Barrel. Oh my, this is so cute. My aunt sent me a Crate and Barrel gift card. Look at it. It's so cute. Look at the shopping bag. I love it. I'm really excited to go to Crate and Barrel and see what things I can get. They have kitchen items, um, bathroom, bedding, like everything for your home they have. So I'm really excited to go. Um, when I first moved here, I did get a couple of things from Crate and Barrel. First it was Ikea, but then the stuff from Ikea like just didn't last long. So then I went to Crate and Barrel and I still have those items. Um, but there's only a couple of stores I can spend hours at and Crate and Barrel is one of them. I can spend hours at Sephora, Target of course, um, the container store I can spend hours at. So I'm very excited to see what I can get. I'm hoping to get I was thinking about getting a taco holder or like taco stand because anytime I make tacos I put them on the plate and they just fall over and all the stuff inside the tacos just come out um maybe an apron maybe a couple of containers uh possibly a waffle maker which will be nice we'll see what I get but I will do a haul afterwards Target and Crate and Barrel and it was so hot outside but it's nice running errands in the morning because I don't have to deal with crowds so it's just nice going in and out. I feel very productive and it's not even like 11 a.m. so that's good. I do want to show you what I got from both places. So one that wasn't on my list okay there was only one thing that I got from Target that wasn't on my list but something that I actually needed is a vitamin D. I told you guys in my August monthly reset video that one of my new habits is to take vitamin D every single day and that's because my levels are low so I'm actually gonna take one right now on camera says so I have to take one capsule per day so it's a soft so it's a soft gel which is perfect because I cannot swallow big pills so I'm gonna take one, but yeah, vitamin D3, 5,000 IU. So I got that from Target. Let's take one. Perfect. Got that out of the way. I got my Good Molecules Brightening Toner. This was about $14. This is my second time using this. This is what the toner looks like. It works well. It lasted me, I think, about three months. So, got that. And then I got my two new heads. One for my husband, one for myself. 
and this will last like three months and then I just have to replace it again. And then I found the SPF 50 from Black Girl Sunscreen. I was trying to look for the 70 and I saw the 70 at one point. Maybe it was a different target. This is the highest one that they had. So this is for the face and body. And then I got lotion. I'm trying this Jergens Cherry Almond body lotion. Every time I buy body lotion, I try like different things. I don't stick with the same brand. As long as it's moisturizing and it's a good price, I'll try different things. So trying this one out. So those are the only things that I got from Target. And now we can move on to Crate and Barrel. And I got a lot of stuff. And I still have money on that gift card, so I will be going back later on when I actually need a couple more things. But for now, this is good. So one thing that I bought, but they didn't have in stock, so it will be coming late August. This is this mid to late August. is a waffle maker. We got the Cusnart waffle maker for about $60. So I'm really excited to use a waffle maker. I found the ramen bowl. I think this is so cute. Look at this. Once you're done with it, you just put the chopsticks through. I think it's so cute. I think this is the perfect bowl for ramen. It's tall. I love the design of it. When I make ramen sometimes, the bowls that I have are not tall enough. So like the water spills, the broth, you can say spills. So this is just perfect. Perfect height. I love it. It's so cute. And it was only like nine dollars. And then let's see what else I got here. They wrap all of your dishes well so they don't break. I got a bowl. One of my bowls that I got from IKEA, like when I first went to Texas, did chip. So I'm gonna replace it with this. And then a couple more. Okay, so I got three of these actually. Look at this bowl. So I didn't want a cereal bowl. I wanted, I don't even know what you call this. What is this called? It says Hudson Low Bowl. So it's a low bowl. And I needed something like this. Especially when, especially when I make like my Buddha bowls or my rice bowls. Everything, like all the ingredients are just like on top of each other. And with Buddha bowls, you're supposed to see like all the ingredients because it's supposed to be a colorful bowl. And I don't like how like everything's on top of each other. So this is perfect for like a rice bowl or even pasta. Um, but yeah, I'll be using this for Buddha bowls that I make. So I got three of these. And I, they're really great quality. They're heavy. They feel good. And I just like it. And I like the color. It's actually one of the new collections at Crate and Barrel. And they had this in two other colors. They had this in black and then dark green. But we went with the cream color. So yes, I got three of those. And then I got an apron. <laughs> so my clothes don't get dirty when I cook. And I got the black apron so that it doesn't get dirty easily. Um, let me see. So I know I'm going to have to adjust it because I'm short. Let's see. Okay. Look at that. It looks good. Yes. Compared to the other one that I had, it was like all the way down here and it wasn't adjustable. I like it and it was only $20 from Crate and Barrel. Looks good. Oh, and then I got a new muffin pan. Because the one that I have is just scratched up. Okay, it just looks awful. It's washed out. Let me show you the one that I currently have. It does not look good at all. So this is the current one I have. And it didn't look like this when I first bought it. I don't even know if you can tell, but it feels really weird. Like... The color, I think it was like a great color, but it kind of scratched off thing due to putting it in the dishwasher, even though it did say dishwasher friendly, but it feels very weird. And you can see like the color is gone and it came with the lid. So I don't know what happened to this, but it feels very weird. Like the material feels weird. I got that, and then I also got the 12 silicone baking cups. 
Got that. Oh, and what I really wanted, I did find. I wrap up everything at Green Barrel. Okay, I got the taco rack. Let's go with the taco. I put one, two, three, four. Isn't this perfect? So all of the ingredients in the taco doesn't fall out. I love this. So I got two of these. But I think this is so cute. And then you can put it on a plate like something like. Probably not on a plate because it's too wide. I don't have a wide enough plate to put this on top. But I could just put it on like a cutting board. Yeah, but that's everything I got. We were struggling to like find stuff to get because there's not a lot that we need, but there was a couple of things that we wanted to replace since we got the gift card. So that's everything that I got, and I have a lot to put away. Um, for the rest of the day, I'm just going to relax. Now, I do want to fill out my habit tracker. Okay, so I'm looking at my habit tracker. So... These are the four habits, if you guys haven't seen my monthly reset video, these are the four habits that I want to track and that I want to complete each week, except for reading and exercising. It doesn't have to be like every single day. Reading is just, I just want to read each week, no matter how many times, whether it's just if I can only read for three hours or four hours, I just want to read. Exercise is at least three times a week. So I did exercise this morning, so I can check that off. I will be reading later. I'm going to stay inside for the rest of the day because I did everything I need to do this morning. So I will be reading. I had been drinking water. Um, I'm like halfway done with one, so I got two more to go. And then I just took my vitamin D, so I'm good to go. So I almost completed all of my habits. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is a realistic um, morning in my life in the summertime and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!